Hello everyone and welcome back to this brand new video So for today we're gonna be playing and I need you to like kind of sit down You're probably sitting now because you're watching a video But if you're not, I need you to rest and be in the best mental state you can be in Because we're playing a non-blue deck Yeah, I'll, I'll give you 5 seconds to process In the meantime, I'll start telling you about the deck Alright, I'm assuming you processed what I said And I'm, that I'm not playing a blue deck And I'm gonna continue all right, so we're playing Jund mid range, and if you know, if you've played modern against me ever in your life, you know that I play as Warriors Control, and I do not like the Jund matchup. But I thought that trying to make a Jund mid range deck in historic around Chevel is an interesting idea, especially because the Wolf from Kaldheim is a very interesting card. So for those of you who don't know what the Wolf is, uh, I'll uh, just put it now in the screen. Like literally, you're gonna see it somewhere, pop up somewhere around here on the screen. But that card is insane. It's a board wipe on a stick and it rewards you for playing removal. So that card, expecting to get so much potential, like, I mean, so many decks built around it. So I'm quite excited to see that. For now, I'm just going to go through this iteration of the deck and then we're going to get into the future iteration, hopefully, with the wolf very soon. Alright, so we're playing. It's we're Junt. We're probably going to play Thoughties. I mean, one of that Junt plays Thoughties. We're playing Knight of the Ebon Legion because it pairs super well with uh, what I've made the deck to be, I'll tell you in a bit. And we're playing 2 Fatal Push because it's a very efficient, cheap uh, removal that we need. Eliminate is here to target either Narset or any annoying 3 mana Planeswalker, and it can always be used as spot removal. Skyclave Shade is uh, really good. Now, yes, you might tell me that, okay, some Azorius decks are playing Grafty Grace Cage in the main board, and that could be a problem. But I mean, you can always thought is that um, we can always thought is that gravity grace cage, and I'll tell you another way what, how we can beat that. Scavenger goes is here to stop Uru decks. I mean, you always want to have a way to deal with Uru in the main deck, and then just having scavenging goes to pay one green and then exile Uru from the graveyard is a good idea. And scavenging goes against creature matchups is also very good since we can like eliminate fate push their creatures and then grow our uh, our own scavenging goes and gain some life. So that's always something interesting. Grox is just a recurring threat and it just forces your opponent to discard. So turn one, Thoughtsies, pick up part the best card in their hand. Turn two, uh, Kroxa, deal an with another good card. It's amazing. Shovel, Shovel, Shovel. I think Shovel is like really stepped on and I think he's going to be great in the next standard. Now, I said that about the previous standard, but he still did not get a deck of his own. But I believe in the potential of this card. This card is insane. It rewards you for playing removal and draws you a card. And read this card it's beautiful and even forces your opponent not to attack because if they attack into you you just block with shuffle they lose their best threat this card is beautiful and it pairs very well with that new wolf because you get to play shuffle turn two that wolf on turn three amazing amazing curve all right murder strider is the reason why i like playing four knight of the ebon legion why if we go turn three shock in a land and then murder strider something from my opponent's side that's exactly for life that triggers knight of the ebon legion and that can help us get out of hand. Now, Bonecrusher Giant is uh, an insane piece of removal that doubles up as a good creature, so you obviously are playing it. Cousin of Mammoth is just here as a one off. I mean, you could play more Bonecrusher Giant, more Murderous Riders, it's highly what you want. I just like how he improves with more uh, lands, and I always was a big fan of Model DFCs. You've seen it ever since they came out. I was like all over them. I'm quite excited for the next one in Kalheim. Cloth is just, an, uh, just another way for us to deal with a potential Uro. It's not easy for us to like uh, have Cloth has become a creature. It's not that easy. We need a multiple cards, but I believe it's doable. Ag Agadim's Awakening, I mean, Model DFC, it's a good card. It plays as a land. What more do you want from me? It's just an amazing card. All right, Liliana Walker of the Dead is kind of our three mana, Liana of the, four mana Liana of the Veil. I mean, this card is good, especially because we have things that we don't mind discarding, like I don't mind discarding a Kroxa, I don't mind discarding a Thoughtseize late game, I don't mind discarding a land if I don't need a land anymore. Chandra Torch of Defiance, you've known how much I've loved this card, I've told you many times that I love Chandra Torch of Defiance, so here goes Chandra Torch of Defiance, and Questing Beast, everyone's favorite 4 mana card, and if by favorite I mean absolutely hate, then that's it. Like Maybe people hate Ember Cleave more than Questing Beast, but I hate Questing Beast a lot too. For our mana base, we're not playing complicated stuff. We're playing uh, two of swamp, one of mountain, one of forest, uh, two fabled passages, and then we're just running a generic four of each shockland, uh, two root bound cracks, two blooming march. If we had a fast land for Gruul, I would have played it, but we sadly don't have it. 
And that's pretty much it for the main board. What I was saying is that there is a way for you to deal with the... Uh, let me show you the day that the way that you have if you want to deal with the uh, graphic stage in the main board. You could play instead of playing three uh, knight, uh, I mean three murder rider. You could play like two of uh, monster impulse to deal with potential graphic cages. But I think I'm fine with uh, two murder rider. I like the life link against aggro decks. But if you feel free to experiment, my decks are just me showcasing the strategy to you and it's your thing to experiment and test what works with you more than me for sideboard duress just more removal more i mean have disruption against uh, control decks graphic grace case to stop goblins because we do hate these goblins sky clear shade is just more and more recursive threats davriel is a very interesting wing con and i've won with him against an azorius control deck so don't sleep on my boy davriel which is vengeance i mean board wipe goblins in the format literally the main reason why you play that Extinction event is a good way for us to deal with threats that are recursive or let's say we go into the mirror match people are playing sky cliff shade Vraska is an amazing way to diversify our threats in the main uh, post board so like we'd have more planeswalkers Maybe we turn into a control deck a junk control deck except John midrange and then like we get so much value with our planeswalkers Elder guard growth is a beautiful top end and Vivian once again is a way for us to diversify our threats post board and to also get some kind of card advantage in junk colors that usually are lacking card advantage so that's going to be pretty much it for the deck deck if you did enjoy the deck so far i want to please ask you to like comment and subscribe comment so you can boost me with the youtube algorithm comment so we can grow this chromium channel together if you want to have the channel beyond that you can always check out my patreon link in the description down below and with that and as usual i'll see you in the games all right going into our first game of john midrange now not the best of hands, honestly. We always have a turn one thoughties followed by a turn two thoughties. I think that's enough for me to keep. Will I live to regret this? Let's wait and see together. All right, <laughs> we got a green source for requesting beast on turn, uh, on turn four. So that's quite exciting. Uh, mono white prison. I mean, if we take their land, I think they're kind of screwed. So we're just gonna take her their land. Yeah. I mean, sorry opponent, you just lost your land. Let's see if he gets to get another land. He does not. He does not. <laughs> All right. Let's just thought he's away whatever land he might still have or like might get. Solemnity or nine lives? I mean, I can deal with both of them, right? Yeah, I can deal with both of them. I still would not want them to get nine lives. So just remove that. Uh, I think we can safely play our favorite passage as a land. Crack it, get a... Uh, green source and that should be enough for me all right he still does not have the Kalan. i mean thoughties is thoughties i'm sorry guys don't look at me like i'm evil I, I know this is evil but i mean just just happened all right we don't even have to play awakening anymore uh, because now we already have like a full set of lands uh, to play our questing beast so that's good now one thing to point out is i still do not have a uh, red source so a top deck Chandra is quite scary, but we're just hoping that we don't get a top deck Chandra for now. And alright, opponent does it uh, another land drop. We get a lot of chef. We get a lot of casting beasts in our hand. I think I'm gonna play the shovel. Play again, uh, again awakening just because he has a graph degree cage. So it kind of like lost a lot of value, to be honest. And we really need to draw this uh, beautiful beautiful thing called a red source because we have yet to draw one uh guardian idol is fine honestly like he's just ramping um let's see croxa is an annoying top deck because we have no red source quite yet uh i'm gonna try to hit a red source now no red source we're just gonna have to wait see um we're like we have a lot of pressure on the board um I mean, yeah, I can't stop that. Alright, finally, the red source. I think I'm just gonna shock this in, play a Kroxa. I'm expecting uh, the Immortal Sun to be discarded, honestly. Let's see what opponent has in mind. Alright, Immortal Sun, yeah, was discarded. That's exactly what I expected. And now we're just gonna attack for four. If our opponent thinks that he can stop us with Guardian Idol, we have a push. Actually, Guardian Idol is a 2 2. He can't even stop us. He needs. Spot removal for the questing beast, or or else this game is ours for the winning. All right, he has spot removal for the beast. It seems he does not, and we go to game number two. So see, turn one thoughties is as good as I tried to make it out to be. 
Um, let's see, let's see. What do I want against this uh, annoying deck? I think Vraska is an amazing idea because it blows up the Solemnity. Duress is also good. It also blows up Gravdigger's Cage, something to note. And I don't think he's going to be siding in more... Uh, I honestly don't think he's going to keep the Gravdigger's Cage in. We're going to side in Vivian. Because just, she's just Vivian, she's amazing. Push can go away because there's not that many targets. Same thing for Eliminate. And I think we can take out one Bolt Crusher Giant. I'm even considering bringing in one more Skyclave Shade. And taking out one Shovel because, again, he does not have that many targets for Shovel. Now, Shovel does target permanence, but I mean, uh, some of his permanents have X proof, so I might not even be able to interact with them. Uh, so let's see. So we're playing against Mono White Prison. And I kind of like our hand. I have mixed feelings about our hand, honestly. Still think I'm gonna keep it, but I still have mixed feelings about it. No disruption, uh, no planeswalker. That's a weird hand to keep. I have to agree. All right, let's see what our opponent has in mind. Just gonna side play our blooming march. Mindstone is an interesting play. Yeah, let's just keep drawing more lands deck, right? Yeah, man, always, always what I get rewarded with with magic. Always drawing lands. I mean, lands are an insane thing to draw. Leyline Sanctity is an interesting pickup. Just as he plays the of Sanctity, my beautiful luck draws me a Duras. I mean, could have top decked it like a turn earlier deck, but no. It rubs it in my face. Like, look, haha, <laughs> I drew Duras now. <laughs> Alright, just in peace, sure. Alright. I mean, uh, oh, opponent is like storming off with uh, annoying cards. Alright, let's see. Uh, we're just gonna attack for two, honestly. Like, not a lot of stuff for us to do. We're just gonna play this as a land drop at this stage. I'm not gonna do anything else. Um, and opponent plays the Immortal Sun. Yeah. Opponent kind of did everything his deck wants to do while we're just off. And I draw Vraska and I can't even deal with the Immortal Sun anymore. Can we even win this game at this stage? No, we're just gonna concede, honestly. Like, like I'm sorry, opponent went Sanctity when I had when then I top deck a duress. He goes Immortal Sun, and then I top deck what? Yes, Vraska. I mean, Doug's just making fun of us at this stage. Um, see, now that I see that he has rest in peace, I think we bring back the Bone Crusher Giant. And uh, did he play any creatures? No, he did not. I think I'm gonna bring in. Uh, Gargaroth and side in one more Skyclave Shade and I think Davriel is a nice pickup. Alright, yes he plays the Mortal Sun, but I think Hand Disruption is the way to go against this kind of deck. Because like, if I snipe out the Mortal Sun, my Planeswalkers are online and I think that's what we're gonna try to do. Maybe I think I kept a loose keep, but I think we're gonna be fine now. Alright, please don't have turn one, uh, please don't have turn one uh, Ley Line. Alright, that's good. We're gonna shock this in, play our Knight. Next turn, we shock in a Stomping Grounds Thoughtseize. That way, we grow our Knight of the Ebon Legion. As the plan, at least. Alright, that's good. Going according to plan. Thoughtseize uh, to shock in. And then we do this. Um, see, Idyllic Tutor can search, in, um, can search the other combo piece. I think, funny enough, we're gonna go for... Solemnity. I mean, his next turn is probably going to be Guardian Idol, but then that champs him into a Wrath of God, which is not the most annoying thing for me. Yeah, I think we're just going to take Solemnity, first him to top deck the other combo pieces. And just because I know he has a board wipe at hand, I'm going to try to use this Knight of the Ebon Legion to my uh, advantage as much as possible. Alright, now we have a Vraska. That's something interesting. Alright. Uh, I think we're just gonna keep on leveraging this Knight of the Ebon Legion, so we're just gonna play a Mountain. Attack with the Knight of the Ebon Legion, activate his ability. And now if he goes uh, board wipe, I untap, play Vraska, and then uh, just blow up his ramp. And then we kind of like try to leverage the game that way. Let's see what our opponent has in mind. And he's down to 14, so like, Knight of the Ebon Legion is a scary threat for him. And as long as he doesn't extend, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna extend either. I mean, as long as he doesn't board wipe, I'm not gonna extend either. <sighs> Alright, opponent, what's your plan? Field of Ruin, sure, nice pickup. I mean, that's really fine with me, but that tells me that there's no board wipe coming. 
Um, what do I want? Green source? We already have another green source in town. Let's just get our swamp. I'm highly curious what everyone has in mind. Another guardian idol, which we're gonna meet with a board with a Vraska. Let's just attack our opponent. Let's shock in our land. Uh, we don't need to actually. Let's play our favorite passage. Search for a green source. So any questing beast off the top is now online. So we're gonna Vraska, and we're gonna minus three our beautiful Vraska to destroy this guardian idol. Why? Because I don't want him to ramp into the immortal sun quickly. Now he's checking of what he wants to deal with. Does he want to deal with Vraska? Does he want to deal with Knight of the Ebon Legion? Quite a confusing state for our opponent, not gonna lie. So he could also activate Guardian Idol, kill the Vraska, but that just leaves him vulnerable to an attack. I mean, not the best position to be in, but like, still a good position to be in, honestly. Uh, sure, Kroxa is an interesting pickup. Do I have enough cards in Grave to get her? No. But if our opponent taps out for a board wipe, I do. Let's just play our Kroxa for now. Oh, I don't have double black for Kroxa. That is something I should have noticed. That is something I should have noticed indeed. What do you discard opponent? Wrath of God. That's interesting. That is definitely an interesting thing. I mean, he probably has another one in hand. Still think I'm gonna risk him not having another one in hand. And try to go for lethal next turn. He probably has another one in hand. I'm 100% confident he has another one in hand. Right? Top play your Wrath of God. Idyllic Tutor. Search for 9 lives. Yep, expected. Expected, expected, expected. Uh, Thought Tease is an interesting pickup. I just thought he's away his hand. Immortal Sun gone. And now we just attack. I could have played the scavenging was I don't know why the game auto passed, but, but sure in game. I mean I don't know what the game did to me, but I can't do anything to stop it now, can I? Uh let's shock in this land. Let's just play our Kroxa. Exile, 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 exile. We're dead to a top deck solemnity. Although actually we can we can interact with solemnity. No, we're not dead to a top deck solemnity. And Kroxa actually deals damage to him, so that's interesting. That is interesting. Alright, we're just gonna play our scavenging ooze. We just need to deal how much more damage to him? Uh nine. <laughs> we just need to deal five damage five more times. Quite not an easy feat, honestly, but like that's all we have to do. Uh, just attack. I mean, Kroxa will deal damage to him, so like one more Kroxa attack is all we need to win the game. Alright, because like 9 life says whenever it creates the same thing, we deal damage to you. Not, uh, uh, and like Kroxa doesn't deal damage, it makes them lose life. There's a big difference in magic between dealing damage and so making someone lose life. Alright, I mean, if he doesn't top deck something to deal with this, um, he's dead. A board wipe would be quite brutal. He doesn't have enough to play a board wipe. He doesn't. Alright, and then... I mean... I'm kind of excited. Let's see. Does it happen? Alright. And, and then... He top decked the board wipe one turn later. And we win the game. <laughs> John Midrange for the win. See, we did it. I always believed in this deck. I always believed in the beauty of this deck. We get rewarded with the victory screen. Guys, I wanted to thank you so much for watching. I'm trying my best to keep up with this grind. This is officially day six of the grind. Quite happy to be back. Quite proud to making content for all of you. Now, please, again, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I think this deck has a lot of potential, so I highly recommend it if you have the pieces. And uh, beyond liking, commenting, and subscribing, if you want to help the channel beyond that, you can sh always check out my Patreon link in the description down below. And speaking of patrons, I wanted to thank them for making my content possible, and a huge shout out to I am Mark Mag. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.